and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. And this is our tech bit on adding a contact. Uh, the Contacts app on your iPhone or iPad is your address book. And it looks like this. We're going to go ahead and tap on it, and it's going to bring us into the Contacts app. You'll notice on the left side of the screen a list of people that are in your Contacts app, and you can scroll through them if you have more than show up on the screen. Whichever contact is selected on the left side, their information is going to show up on the right. Here I have Beth Abernathy connected or selected, and you can see on the right is Beth Abernathy's information. If I go down and I click on somebody else, their information comes up. And a good thing to point out is the iPad and the iPhone are exactly the same, except for if you just think about the size of the two. If you're looking on your phone, this will be one screen, and then you click on a person's name, and then this will come up and be the screen. Right. So it's just sort of split screen where the iPad is bigger so you can see both of them at once. Otherwise, they're the same. Yep. Across the top, you're going to see some buttons. We have a groups button here, which we talk about in a different tech bit. Um, it's going to have the name of the group. Right now, we're in one called Contacts. We have a plus sign. We're going to use that to add a contact. And then we have the edit button. And that's the buttons that you have. We're going to add a contact, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on the plus sign. And it's going to come up over here on the right and it's going to show us the form for adding a contact. As soon as you um, tap into a field, the keyboard will come up, but I want to point out one thing first. Um, you see in light gray, you see what you're supposed to be entering in that field. So this one here, when I tap on it, light gray shows first. So I'm going to just start typing in first, and it'll wipe that out. So I'm going to type in the first name. And we can see the keyboard was brought up right when you tapped in the field. Mary Jones. I could put a company name in if Mary was a business contact. And I can tap on add phone <clears throat> and put in her phone number. You don't have to put in any dashes. It'll go ahead and format it as long as you have the right number of characters. You also can, um, will notice that the green plus has turned to a red minus. I could delete that number if I wanted to at this point. I can also tap on where it says home and it'll come up with a variety of different tags or labels that I can give it. So maybe this one is her iPhone. So I'm going to tap on that. I can go down here and I can just keep adding phone numbers, as many phone numbers as, as your contact has. I can add an email. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put her email in. Mary at iCloud. Dot com. Notice that when you're entering it, <clears throat> an email in, the Apple keyboard changes to show the at sign on the front page, which is nice. You don't have to go searching around for that special character. Again, just like with um, the phone numbers, I can tap on the label and I can choose a different label. So I could say work, home. I'm going to go ahead and just call that her iCloud account. The next thing that we have is ringtone and text tone. These are ways of distinguishing your contacts when they call or text you. So you can have a special ringtone. Right now it's set to default, but if I tap on that, it's going to come up and show all the ringtones that I have in a list, and it's going to give you the option of buying more tones if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. It'll give you a little highlight of the sound, and you can pick the one you want and say done. Now every time this contact calls me, that is going to be the ringtone, the crystals. And you can do the same thing with the text tone. Which is very handy having these custom tones because then you can know if it's an important call from your husband or your daughter. And um, so if you're busy, it's a great feature to have on. Right. Add URL. That would be the web page. If this was a business contact or someone who had a website, I could enter their website in here. Keep going down. Here's add address. Again, as soon as you tap on it, it expands out to show you two street lines, city, state, zip, and country. And again, the label is there, and I can go through and I can put home, work, other, or I can add a custom label and I could say anything I want. Let's say this person has a, a home in Florida in the winter. We'll type down Florida. And now that would be Florida's address. 
Add birthday. <clears throat> Here's a great feature. You can add a birthday and then what will happen is it will carry through into your calendar and it will show you the birthday um, for that person right in your calendar. It's a great feature. I'm not sure why you'd want to add more than one birthday, but you can. So, <laughs> that silly. seems silly. <laughs> add date. Here we can add an anniversary maybe instead of a birthday. So we could put an anniversary in if you want to remember an anniversary of somebody. And you can keep adding dates. There are different labels for the dates as well. Um, well, I guess anniversary or other. Or you can put in a custom as well. Add related name. This is a nice feature too. If you want to keep track of the spouse's name um, or somebody's child's name. So I'm going to go ahead and put in um, spouse. And then I'm going to put in uh, Bob. Because I remember, want to remember that um, her spouse's name is Bob. I can keep adding those. So if she had more than one child or I wanted to keep track of spouse and child or mother or whatever, I can do that. Add social profile. Here you can add a Twitter handle. Um, you can also maybe put their Facebook um, email address in there, MySpace, LinkedIn. Add instant message. Um, here, maybe I want to put in a Skype name or a Google Talk or AIM or Yahoo Messenger. You can add those in here and keep track of them. You have a notes area. This is really nice because you can go in and type notes about somebody. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I use the notes all the time. Um, I put a note as to where I met this person. If it's not going to be a name that's going to be frequently brought up around, you know, that I'm going to remember, yeah. I'll yeah. say, you know, so-and-so's neighbor or right. met at school, you know. Great, great idea. And you can add fields too. Most of these are here, but they're, you can put a phonetic first name. So if somebody's got a different spelling than it sounds, you can type that in. Um, nicknames, job title, department, those are the fields that I didn't have on the standard form. And when you're done, you tap done in the upper right hand corner and now you've got your contact card. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.